Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning, and today we are looking at the Carrier Performance Series Slimline Condenser that we just installed. I'm going to go through this installation, show you what we did, and discuss some of the features and benefits of this system. As always, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more information about carrier systems. If you have any questions, be sure to leave that in the comments section below. I love hearing from you and I love answering those questions to help you out and if you are in the Orange County area and would like an estimate on a system like this or any other carrier products please give me a call at 714-526-6368 so let's get into this system so we are looking at a four ton carrier performance variable speed compact heat pump condenser model 38 MURAQ 48 AA3 so this condenser is, is what they call a crossover unit, meaning it can be several things. So it can be a heat pump condenser uh, wired with an indoor fan coil, making an all electric system. It can also be an AC condenser, meaning outside does the air conditioning, and then inside you have a gas furnace and evaporator coil. So you have gas heating for the inside. And then it can also be a dual fuel system where it is matched outside heat pump condenser with the gas furnace and evaporator coil inside and you can choose to run it all electric or as gas for your heating element. Um, so um, I will discuss this installation that we did which is an AC condenser outside and it's wired to a gas furnace and coil inside. Um, if you'd like other information on how the heat pump system works I will be doing a video probably in about a week or so about that and that will answer those questions hopefully. So. In this four ton size, this condenser has an efficiency up to 14.7 CR2 and it's configured with the indoor carrier 60,000 BTU gas furnace and an ADP four ton horizontal evaporator coil. So the efficiencies that this system will get will depend on the matchup with a furnace indoors or a fan coil indoors and the size. So in some sizes, you can get up to 17.8 sear. In other sizes, it's down in the 14 sear two range. So it all depends on your configuration. Uh, this unit is variable speed. It uses temperature and pressure sensors to decide on what speeds to run at. It is important to note that this condenser is only a true variable speed when it is in the full heat pump version, meaning a heat pump condenser outside, a fan coil inside, matched with a carrier communicating thermostat is proprietary to this system. So it's a communicating system. So that's how it would be a true variable speed system. Otherwise it is going to be basically a single stage cooling system if you wire it any other way without that thermostat. Um, the sound rating on this system is 58 decibels on high speed, but it can be a lot less on lower speeds. So it does make it a very, very quiet option we have this here in a side yard and it's a dead end corner so we do have a six foot wall around it here and uh, we have the necessary clearances in the back of four, uh, we have about seven to eight inches on this but you can go as little as four inches and then in front you need at least 20 inches to let the fans expel the air we do have the double fan on this unit as you can see and both fans are going right now it's on cooling it's probably at the high speed at this point it's been ramped up for a while you do want to have plenty of clearance on this side too. You want a couple feet here. This is where the disconnect is, as well as the refrigerant lines enter the system. So you just don't want to double check on the clearances where you're going to put it, but this does fit in side yards very, very well. Um, this condenser will also qualify for carrier cool cash instant rebates. So those can be done um, with the matchup that you're doing with the indoor unit. So the outdoor unit plus the indoor unit and whatever thermostat you're doing will give you the total on that. They're anywhere from about $100 to $350 from carrier and those are instant. Um, if you are doing a heat pump, uh, it will qualify for some of those heat pump rebates. You gotta check on some of the contingencies with those, what those involve to make sure uh, that you would receive it. So let me know what you think of this install. Um, we just finished this uh, about a week and a half ago and uh, it turned out really great. The homeowner's very happy with how quiet the outdoor unit is, um, how quiet the indoor unit is. Um, I did a video on that system where we had moved a furnace to an attic with all new ductwork. Make sure you check that out. I'll put a link in the description below for that. And uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my page for more stuff. 
uh, like this. I'll be coming out with a lot of videos this year, and hopefully these are, are stuff that will educate you on these systems and help you make a great decision for what you wanna install in your house. That's the whole reason I do these videos is to educate customers so they can see here and, and, and really dive into these units and, and get into what the, some of the intricacies are of these and, and why this might be good for you. So thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.